Okay, another community day. The weather looks nice. It was actually snowing like crazy just a few weeks ago. So it's nice to have the sunny weather and all that. Lots of additions. Things like the green mushrooms now for the St. Patrick's Day event as well. I got a lot of, I guess, well, potentially new decors. I got a couple of convenience store yellow ones. Let's see if I actually get the one I want. I also read some of your questions and feedbacks you guys had. For people like Niantic, I actually got some answers too, which I'll talk a bit about later. But first, let's get started, huh? Nice, complete. I actually have these huge seedlings too. These ones are actually both pizza ones. I gotta walk it off. I finished the first part of the St. Patrick's Day event and as you can see, there's a new one now where you have to destroy a certain amount of mushrooms. I noticed just by looking around, not a lot of people have many four-leaf clover pigments and they're whacking on those mushrooms forever. Let's see if we can find one, huh? should be pizza ones, but I actually ran out of storage. I was debating whether or not I should release the other Pikmin's, the ones I don't need, like not the four leaf clover ones, but just the regular ones. I guess I will upgrade some storage, why not? This time I also got all of the Valentine Day decors, which kind of leads me into the stuff that I was asking Niantic, so I guess I'll show you guys that first.
Hey, Community Day badge complete. So about some of the questions I asked Niantic, I read your guys' comments, I tried to think what's everyone asking, how to condense it, and they did give me a response for some of the stuff. Well, all of them actually, the ones I actually asked. So the first one was just general, when you asked whether or not they will add features like the life logs to make it easier for you to save, I guess, and download it. And when I asked them, they said they're planning to making improvements to the life log. They can't promise any features, but at least they relayed the feedback. That's what they said. So at least they're listening. I know if you want to record it, I'm not sure for every phone, but I know a lot of Androids, they have built-in screen recorders and stuff now. So if you really want to record it in that way, you might want to consider using that for the time being. Now, one question I asked them was in relations to are they going to introduce things like enemies in this game? That's one thing I've constantly read people asking about as well. I'm curious personally since I do play the main series and from what they told me, this is also a question or feedback that people constantly ask about since this game was released. And I expressed before why it's important for this game anyways is because Imagine playing, for example, Pokemon, and there's no Pokemon, for example. I mean, there might be a Pokeball, but there's no, I don't know, Pikachu or anything like that. Or they recently released a game like NBA All World. Imagine if there's no real player names or likeness. That's why Express is important. And they commented saying they recognize like why serious players would really want, for example, enemies or more recognizable characters. And it says at the moment they can't promise anything, but you can't say that it won't happen. I probably have the same reaction that a lot of you have, for example. It's really vague, but honestly, I expect that just from a business point of view. There's probably so much technicalities to it. For example, they'd have to, I guess, coordinate with people like Nintendo and stuff like that too, I would imagine anyways. But like what they told me, unless they specifically say no, never, then you can't rule it out. I would imagine it'll just be a matter of time too, in my opinion anyways. For myself, I wouldn't see why that wouldn't be more straightforward. I don't see why a company wouldn't do it, where you could replace things, for example, like a mushroom battle with just an enemy literally so it could be the same mechanic just like different skin or graphic and I'm sure a lot of people would appreciate that but we're talking about for example adding creatures where you're walking around and you have to actively I guess battle them and so forth that might be a little different obviously that would require more planning but again don't rule it out in my opinion from what I read here anyways now some of you were mentioning too how you really appreciate it where they introduce features how you could feed the Pikmin nectar right from the actual selection screen versus have to putting them on the map and so forth and then doing it and I asked them for I guess a better quality of life in playing this game currently when you tap the whistle three times it replaces your Pikmin squad and I would usually as well use that as a way to feed Pikmin that have for example the bulb stage because you get more petals that way and I was always wondering because sometimes when I want to swap them out, they don't give me just the bulb ones. It's like a repeat and I wonder how does this work or is there a way to actually adjust this so every time you tap the whistle three times, it'll bring in just Pikmin that have the bulb stage so you can easily feed them all. So they verified with me on how it currently works where when you tap the whistle three times, it replaces your squad and the priority is whether or not you have them under a favorite list. So it'll cycle through all your favorites first and afterwards it'll randomly bring out any other Pikmin. So I asked them if they will change it in the future, for example, where you could set it to just replace it with Pikmin that are in bulb stages so you can feed them. And they said it's something that they will pass on in terms of the feedback. So who knows if that'll work, but that'll be a good quality of life change for this game in my opinion. When it comes to planting flowers and sprouting the big flowers to get nectar, some of you expressed too, it's kind of strange how currently if you planted it earlier in the day, let's say you did 60% of the flower, the system currently works with, it's only people who plant it within a certain amount of time would actually get rewarded. So you could be there literally really early in the day. And if someone does it later on, I don't know, 12 hours later or something like that, then you wouldn't get it, but that person would. And they expressed how that's currently how it is. And they will be, I guess, potentially consider changes, but don't, to expect it within the immediate future. So at least it's on the radar, I guess. This question, I know a lot of you express disappointment when it comes to certain events, for example, like the Valentine's Day one, where you did all the challenges, all the tasks, but because of the random nature of spouting certain types of pigment, you still didn't get the full set. 
and in many ways you feel it's unfair, it demotivates you to play it, especially again when you did every task and so forth. So I asked them, is this kind of the way the game is? Are they going to address this for example? Because it's kind of disappointing for people with some decors, they assume like the 2023 one won't come back ever and they did everything, correct? So from what I gather, from what they say, they're aware how and how people could be frustrated over this and they will normally try to clarify it, I guess, before the event, whether or not they're guaranteed or not. But again, it's kind of like the point I said, you assume if it's like a specific date Pikmin, it won't come back ever versus let's just say something like the Four Leaf Clover, you can actually still get it right now. It'll be probably more difficult because of the random nature, but at least there's a chance. But they did say here too, it says, the team is aware of this and they're considering potentially to offer people the ability to get certain Pikmins from the past, maybe not all at once, so there's still a possibility. So for everyone who's just frustrated saying, oh, forget it, that's it, I can't ever get it back anymore, they're at least thinking about that as well. I would kind of imagine they would in some ways. I know with things like the community badges, for example, like last year, you were able to try to get them all again towards like the end of the event. So I wouldn't be surprised if something like that happens. So just a little note there for anyone who's disappointed about not collecting everything. And it's kind of a Hail Mary question. We know that Pikmin 4 is coming out. So all of you are wondering, are there going to be things like an ice Pikmin? And from what they told me, obviously they can't reveal any specific details, but you as a community, could expect some sort of reference to the main series at some point this year again so again i expected them to answer it in this way so keep an eye out i would say anyways because like they say there's a quote possibility so hopefully some of that extra insight helped in terms of was there anything different i could do i was actually asked if i wanted to do a challenge where two people would try to finish the steps before community day and I figured okay why not initially I was supposed to just help out with the steps but I figured why not make a video about it so I uploaded that one earlier which you can see I know some people were wondering what the heck like for me for example with how much I walk for sure I'd blow through it right but other ways were fun and it gave me kind of an extra idea to show people what it's like usually just when I walk around normally without actually having all the cores ready to I guess sprout and all that so just something a little extra I was hoping to get more sushi Pikmin decors during these times, but I haven't. I'm actually going to a sushi restaurant actually in a bit. Maybe I'll leave the flowers when you see I'll get a huge decor. As a quick note too, they are working on some ideas. One of them I thought was actually really awesome if they actually make it work. I can't reveal the details unfortunately, but there are things coming out in the future by the sounds of it, which I think all of you will enjoy too, especially for those who play the app a lot anyways. Okay, got to do some traveling a bit. How about I take you guys onto the journey again? I might just leave the flowers running to see if I'll actually get a huge ceiling of the sushi one while I'm there. Almost there. On a funny note, has anyone else experienced this weird glitch where you could be collecting various fruits and then all of a sudden this little screen pops up saying you're going to like San Francisco or something like that? I asked them Niantic about this because I believe this was their head office like in the US and apparently it is. So yeah, I asked them whether or not they knew anything about it but apparently the person I was communicating with wasn't aware of it so they'll basically I guess check it up afterwards I guess but it's kind of funny all of a sudden you get to this different I guess country. 